Good morning everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about another edible species, something that's really popular amongst rock and surf guys, really sought after after the little uh, edible. Now, talking about the pompano, more specifically the southern pompano. We do get two species that we get here. You get the large spot, which we've done a video on, and you get the southern pompano. Southern being the bigger of the two. Uh, they're both under the same same genus, which is Trachinotus, and this is Trachinotus Af africanus. Now, there is a bit of confusion between our southern pompano and the a species known as the permit, which is a very probably the most sought after um, fly fishing target across the world, uh, well at least in the tropical areas where they occur, and that's uh, Trachinotus blocki. Now this, well there are a few different species, but that's the one that gets confused with ours, and this uh, Trachinotus africanus is a similar shape. Overall, um, you're looking at a fish which is quite similar to a kingfish, quite uh, flattened from the sides, quite a steep forehead, um, overall silvery colour, fairly large eye, smallish mouth, um, it's got uh, plates that it can crush uh, crayfish and all sorts of things with, uh, shellfish, really crush them down like that to eat them, um, and it's got little yellow accents on the, the dorsal area of itself, so right on the top and onto the fins. Now, in terms of eating wise, what it eats, how it, what it goes about, you're looking at probably the most common or, or biggest part of its diet is actually mussels, um, which is something that not a lot of guys know, but when you cut open a, a pommy or, or stumpy actually as well, they are normally full, full of mussels. So that kind of alludes to where you're gonna find it. They, you're gonna get them a lot on the, the sandy beaches, but, um, they're going to be associated near a rocky reef area, so near an area where you're going to get lots of mussels. So those mussels, it uses, crushes them in its throat and it swallows the pieces. Sometimes we'll spit out little bits of shell and things like that, but most likely just, di uh, just digest all of that. Your targeting wise, you're going to look at obviously using mussel itself. Otherwise, mole crab is probably the most used bait for them. Um, Crab baits are also very good. Your muscle man crab is used for cracker will also work for them. Um, crayfish tails, uh, bits of crayfish, uh, red and pink prawn work very well for them. And then sometimes even chocker. But they have been known to be caught in a whole lot of things. Fishing is not a not a rule, it's a suggestion. So there are no real set guidelines that will only eat this. So you can really catch them pretty much on anything, but if you're wanting to target them specifically, crustaceans and squid baits are really where you're gonna to wanna to be. Now, where are you going to find them? Um, we're sort of looking Western Cape all the way up to uh, Mozambique, but they're quite rare south of KZN. You, the main sort of area is going to be nice now up into, into southern Mozambique, but uh, as we mentioned, rare south of our, of our lower border. So, in terms of yeah, sandy beaches, um, rocky gullies, sometimes you'll get them in. Um, they are extremely hard fighting fish, so when you do hook them in a rocky area, they, they can cut you off. Uh, they're not prone to doing that, but they, they, with their size, they are very, very strong. They do give you quite hard head knots, obviously being related to the kingies. Now, size-wise, you've got the old SeaWorld specimens that they released, and some of them that are still in Ushaka have gotten to over 25 kilos and that's a fish that's been almost a meter long, 90, 92 centimeters and I think they, they, they were over 10 years in age so you know it is quite a quite an old fish um, and quite a fast or well, quite a slow growing fish for that size and uh, yeah we'll actually see how, how old they'll grow to it's quite an interesting interesting case study there but yeah they are popular amongst the shore anglers and the, the spear fishermen um, you're not really going to catch them on the boats because the guys don't really target them in the, you don't get them that far offshore, so not really in their, in their target zones. But yeah, the, the shore anglers like them, they're very good eating fish, um, obviously limited to catch. And the spear guys as well also like them, they, they're quite a difficult fish, you're going to be hunting them in quite um, turbulent water, uh, the white water area, so it's quick shooting type of stuff, um, which is obviously very exciting for them. And yeah, obviously the eating, eating quality is a big benefit. So yeah, the, the southern pompano, uh, very, very interesting species, very cool looking, very, very strong fighter and 
something you definitely need to have on your species list. Um, definitely for the edible side of things, it's one of the one of the, the ultimates. So yeah, tracking notice Africanus. Cheers. Thank you.